Close enough. Close enough to perfect. For me. That building looks awesome at nighttime. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get some tree spreaders down. We're going to get some beehives going, and we are 35% of the way towards a breathable atmosphere. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so things are just uh, trucking right along. I've spent a little bit of time off camera, mostly working on uh, my automated productions. Uh, so over here, we I added a second water generator. So that way when I go over here and pick the bacteria out, I can just wait for it to make another batch and then I take two batches back with me. Because um, if I don't do that, you know, then it uses up uh, all the water from the first lake collector. And this way we get, uh, you know, double bank for a buck. I just have to wait for another 30 seconds or however long it takes for, you know, to make the rest of it. Uh, we all we already have a full bin of mutagen, however, but we're gonna start using that stuff like crazy. So what I'm doing gonna do now is, uh, okay, good. So we got another five out of that. Um, we're gonna need the bacteria to make the tree spreaders though too. And you know I'm not actually really seeing the game put a lot of trees over in this area, but that's maybe not a bad thing because. We do want to kind of keep an open area for, in particular, for the super storms that happen. Another thing that I've been doing is I've actually been switching uh, this out to make different things that are within pull range. Uh, so I just made a whole bunch of explosive powder. I've been making bioplastic. We got a nice little uh, collection of that. I ended up, uh, this used to be a mushroom bin. But I removed, uh, well, the mushrooms got pulled out of it for the, uh, from the autocrafter, and I just made it a fertilizer, too, because we have a big batch of fertilizer now. Um, and what I did downstairs to make that work in a more automated fashion is I moved all the mushrooms over to here because nine of these food growers are within range of the um, autocrafter up there. I started planting squash because uh, what we need to start doing... After we get a, a full bin of bioplastic, I'm going to move the squash over to here, and then we'll start making uh, tier two fertilizers with all of the, you know, the tier ones that we have. And then I pulled um, some more, uh, some of these, um, whatchamacallits, food processors, processors out. We had some extras there. Um, over by the, the aluminum fields, um, I put in a, I put two autocrafters in there. I put one end to make super alloy out of all the excess ore. And then I put a second one in to make uh, super alloy rods from that ore. Um, so now we have, we, we have ourselves a semi-automated um, super alloy production thing going on over here. Um... And I could put an auto crafter, you know, way back over there where we have the super alloy. Uh, well, actually, no, we can't because we, we don't have aluminum over there. So that wouldn't work. But let's just see what's going on over here. Okay, so you, you've made that many supers and so far you've only made one rod. Uh, but that's eight. Um, that's eight super alloy right there. So it's already processed. And it's just waiting for these other two. And then it should make uh, yet another rod. So this is working out pretty good because it can pull directly from here. Except for it doesn't need anything that's currently in there. So I, I still have to come over here and, you know, empty stuff out. But it's, uh, you know, at least it's, it's utilizing a lot of these ores to do this for us. Let's take this back with us. We'll leave those in there to make their rod. Uh, the fertilizer production line is going strong. I've been over there a couple of times now, and that's why we have so much fertilizer. 
Um, I'm not going to run over there right now, though. Maybe we'll visit it later. And um, I've had two Pulsar Quartz meteorites hit in between episodes. However, one of them, I was in the, um, the silver alien biome on my way over to the fertilizer plant when the first one hit and it went up into the to the cliffs and I couldn't find it so but then another one came not too long after that and I was able to get the quartz uh, mo all but one of the quartz crystals from that so we have enough pulsar crystal to make probably actually two more uh, fusion generators if we need to I also pulled up all of those T1 uh, nuclear power plants that were here we got rid of those because we didn't need them kind of cleaned things up a little bit around the base and got us a few resources back in the process okay so um i said in the last oh, oh, oh look at that baby yes oh man how far away are the drones i did not mean to do that damn it jim um what was that that was our yeah, those are our blueprint screen. Cut that out. Okay, um, drones are, eh, they're still a, a ways away, but they're based upon just straight up TI. Um, the teleporter is not too far away, so that's gonna come in real handy too. But, um, let's see, the T2 is, oh, that's six PPM, this is PPB, yeah, we, uh, that's why we need to get the the tier even the tier one tree spreaders going. This is beautiful though. So we're done now with heat and pressure in terms of you know bl blueprint items. So that's some really nice progress there. Let's drink a water. Um, oh, also, and I put I had to put a silicon bin and an iridium bin down here in order for the auto crafter up above to reach those. Uh, those things, which is fine. Um, let's switch this back to bioplastic and see if you can make a couple more of those. Nope. It's probably still waiting on mushrooms to grow. Uh, all right. I don't really want to make more T1 fertilizer yet, just because we have so much of it. If we switch this over to tier two. Uh, yeah, right. We needed to move the squash over for that. I did put another gas collector in here, too, by the way. Um, and I, you know, because they uh, also fill up with um, O2, I do manually empty those when I come up here. So, yeah, the squash is going to be the thing. But I want that. Oh, there we go. I want that next crop of mushrooms to process first which it looks like it's doing uh, because that's going to get us close to not completely but close to uh, a full thingy of bioplastic all right let's put that in, those in there so yeah we just have uh nine more no seven more actually okay let's uh Let's pick that mushroom, and I think I think we are going to move. Well, yeah, these are all mature, right? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's switch these out. Now, if I really want to do this right, what I would do is I would probably take the bio lab or even make another bio lab and put it over directly over the top of all the food processors so they could get up to all of them. But the reason I'm not too worried about that at this point is because I want to, um, you know, we're going to use outdoor farms when we really get some serious production going on with this stuff. So we're just going to kind of make do with the current setup for now because this is all temporary. Now, let's move the squash over to here. There we go. And uh, we'll put the shrooms back in here. We'll keep growing the shrooms. 
So that way we could still manually make a bioplastic if we run out. Did I miss a grower? Yeah, I did. I was going to say, how did, how did I end up with extra? Um, Let's eat this and put that in there. Okay, so we're going to put the... Uh, let's put the squash in here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll make this an all-purpose. Um, we'll just call this veggies. Okay. Now, let's switch you over to tier 2 fertilizer. I should have algae in here. Oh, I don't. Really? Guess we're going to have to go grab some algae. <laughs> thought I had algae in there. I must have used it for something. If we could even grab any at all, we might, maybe we should set up another, yeah, we can grab this because we're, uh, we're in pretty good shape on bacteria right at the moment. So it looks like it's pulled from those recently. Yeah, I can't, uh, yeah, those have been just recently pulled from. Okay. We'll grab those bacteria whilst we're here. Let's take a drink. Breathable atmosphere, man. That's going to be great. We'll no longer have to carry an O2 bottle with us at all. And just, we'll still keep, like I said, one water bottle on us just, just in case because there are places where we don't have readily available water. Okay, so that should start making... Uh, tier 2 ferts for us until it runs out of stuff anyway alright we're making great progress uh, I had a message come in too let's see what this says after months of hard work I finally managed to find my way into the sentinel unlocking process and unlock the space trading rocket on your system usually terraformers are not allowed to use this but it should help you Chances of surviving are greatly improved when it is activated, but Sentinel almost never allows for this plan uh, this for planet crafters. I have no way to tell if you are still alive or not. If only we could see each other again. Yeah, so that must have come in not too long after we got the trading rocket, uh, which we need to set up. It's just that I'm not really ready to use it yet, and so until we have some good production going, uh, we'll hold off on that. Okay, so I think our next order of business is uh, to get the tier one spreaders down, tree spreaders, um, and get some oxygen going. We will replace those with the ultimately with the tier threes later on down the road, but for now, um, oh right, we wanted to get beehives going too. Mm, we got to do them both, so let's just start with the tree spreaders. So we're going to pin that. I have a total of one. Oh. Yeah, we should... Um, oxygen's going to get us to the tier two. I wonder if we should do a couple of seed rockets to get to boost O2. Yeah, why don't we do that first? Why don't we do that first? Let's do a save. We'll go out here and see what the recipe is for the seed rockets. That's the plant. This is the seed. Okay, we'll pin that. That's why we've been making all that mutagen and bacteria, baby. And we can launch these from here. We don't have to go to the far one uh, for this. All right. So we need two muties, two backies, and two supers and tree bark. I set up another tree bark uh, thingy there because we ran out of space of the first one. 
We need four super dupers. Okay, let's go launch these guys and give ourselves an O2 boost. Seed rocket, yeah. Off you go. Okay, let's do the second one. Oh, damn it, Jim. I'm supposed to grab four supers, not two. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, let's knock this one over. Well, we sent it. <laughs> we sent it on a spiral. Nice. Okay, that gives us an O2 boost from space. And, of course, we could make more rockets, too. Um... Actually, maybe we should do that. Like, maybe do... Three more? I think we should. I think we should. Let's do three more of those. And then we'll put the tree boosties, uh, booster thingamadoodles down. Uh, what do we need? We need six uranium. We're going to need three supers. And three iridium rods. That's to make the rockets themselves. Okay. We're going to need... Three muties, three backies, three barkies. <laughs> I know. I'll stop. Are these ready again? One is. Three barkies and six supers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that should allow us to launch three more oxygen rockets, seed rockets. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we just gave ourselves a 5,000% boost in O2. But now what we want to do is, is this a, that's a normal. Uh, we want to get the tree spreaders down. And... I th um, let's see, our, our tier 2 optimizer is here. And it's got 302. So we got to put them in range of that. Which means we're going to have to put them close to the base. Uh, which means we're going to have a big forest of trees growing right out in front of our base. Hmm. I wonder if that would cause a problem if the trees... Do they try to grow up into the base? Alright. How many tree seeds do we currently have? We have one there. Um, did I make some more. I thought we made could have sworn we made more tree seeds. Are they in the DNA manipulator? Okay, there's one. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's grab... Here, we'll put you in here. Let's go grab some... flowers. Um... Tuscus... 
three. Yeah, let's do three more. Actually, no, let's do four. Except that I can only do one at a time though, unless I build another DNA manipulator. Okay, we're gonna need a mutagen and a tree bark. Okay, the recipe doesn't show up here, but if you put a tree bark, a mutagen, and a golden seed in here, you can make that tree. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that tree right there. I don't know if that's called a golden seed tree or what the hell it's called, but you can make it, and we will. All right, so we have two trees that we can use right now. So let's get two tree spreaders going. Put those tuscas back in there. And we'll pin this. Okay, so we're going to need... Two supers. Let's break this rod down. Two supers. Two bark, two bios, and two furts. Uh, and two bacteria, it looks like. There we go. Okay. Now, if I put these here, oh, you know what? I forgot about something. These need to be on water. Right. Those need to be on water. Hmm. Well, the tree spreaders are going to generate 736 oxygen just out of the box. Compared to 260 on these, but these have golden flowers in them is the thing. I don't have any more fuses other than the three that are in here. This is the closest water. Hmm, I don't know if I want a bunch of trees growing in our operation here, though. What if we put these down in the canyon? Or, I have water in O2, right? Yeah. Uh, food's getting low. The other option, I mean, I wanted to turn this into a forest anyways down here. We don't need water for the T2 and the T3, just for the T1. Will it let me? Yes, it will. All right, let's put that there. That there. That's a 125 multiplier. That's a what? They're both 125 multipliers. Okay. So this is doing, without any boost at all, it's doing 920 PPQs. Let's go back to the base. Oh, we could plop one probably right down here, too. All right. I don't know what the trees from the golden seeds, what their multiplier is. Maybe it's, if it's the 600, then <laughs> yeah, baby. 
Okay, let's temporarily take these out. And if we just look here. See, that's still 1.56 PPT. Wasn't the other one PPQ? I don't remember now. Man, it sucks getting old. Here, let's get some let's get some food. We'll grab another one too. All right, let's look at this again. So this is 1.56 PPT. I'm pretty sure this this one was 900 something PPQ, which means that those flower spreaders are still more powerful than these guys, at least with the current tree seeds that they have inside of them. Yeah, see, that's PPQ. Okay. So, it doesn't make sense, then, for us to pull our tier two optimizer with the three fuses away from the flower spreaders with the golden flowers at this point. Now, once we get, uh, going the wrong way. Once we get this, the golden tree seed turned into a tree, we'll see what that multiplier is. Cause that might uh, be the game changer. But for now, let's plop this back down in here and put these back in. Okay. All right, that's a 350% multiplier. So I'll bet you that... I bet you that would be worth it would be better. Let's make a second one of those. Uh, where are we going? We're going this way. Grab a Tusca out of there. Right, uh, go up here. Uh, we need to put you in there. We need one of you and a bark. Do we have two bark ready? Huzzah. We'll keep the, the other bark up here. I'm just going to put it in here because we're going to need it for the next one we're going to make, too. While we're up here, let's refresh the gas. All right, what are you doing? You've, you've been making tier two furt. That's a nice little collection of tier two fertilizer. How many more can you make at the moment? You're using uh, mutagen, right, to do that? No, you're not using mutagen. You're using methane, tier one fertilizer, and... I don't remember what that's... Oh, squash, yeah. Okay, so you're... You're done for the moment. Can we set you back to... Mutagen. How much uh, sulfur do I have? Okay, we got a decent amount of sulfur and a few bacteria. Yeah, let's say, let that make some more muties for us. Oh, I forgot to research this. I always do that. Okay, so now let's make another turry spreader. 
So we're going to need a bark, a super, a bacteria, a furt, and a bioplastic. Okay, now let's set this guy down in this puddle right over here. It detects water in about that area there. And we'll put you in. Okay, so now you're now it's doing 2.58 PPT. So, if we get enough of these going with the golden seed tree inside, what is that called? It's called a pleom tree seed. Um, then it'll be worth moving the the optimizer with the fuses over to these. But since we have more water in this area, let's just pick that up. We could probably get more. I mean, if we want to completely maximize it, we want to get a total of eight, I think, of these set up. Well, I'll tell you what, then I'll work on that as time goes on because, you know, we're at the mercy of waiting for the DNA manipulator. And probably, why do I always go the wrong way? Uh, probably by the time I get eight of those ready, we'll, the, the tier two tree spreaders will drop and then we'll just swap them out and we'll have to regrow the forest, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so many things to do. Let's grab all of this. So many fun things to do. Silicon could go in there. Um, I should, um, I should probably haul all this extra ore over to our uh, super production facility because I, I have no frickin' space. Either that, or what I could do is I could it temporarily set one up here um, until it brings our aluminum down. Yeah, why don't we do that instead? Okay, so I need two Oz's and a super rod. Uh, nope. All right, and we're just gonna plop. How big is this guy? I'm gonna put you right here. All right, make super alloy. This is how we'll get rid of some of all this excess ore that we have. We want to, uh, yeah, let's set a second one down to make the rods. Let's put you right here. Uh, these won't necessarily stay here permanently, but we're just trying to deal with our, our overage right now. Okay, I need one, two, three, four, five of you. And I need a super alloy rod. Uh, let's see, what's that? Five, that's six, seven, eight, and an aluminum. Uh, no, 
Wait a minute, what am I doing? I don't need a rod, I need the loose. Okay, and I just need four of them. Okay, let's go put another fusion genie down. the same I can uh, can hardly see the seam on this side it's very difficult to see when the, there it is okay so I'm gonna guess it's right about there and then hold on where is it again right there okay Close enough. Close enough to perfect. For me. That, that building looks awesome at nighttime. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh shit. We'll just pretend like that never happened. Okay, so you make rods, you make that. I love it. Auto crafters, baby. They are the cat's meow. Absolutely. Okay, do I have room then to throw some of this stuff in here now? Good. We have some extra O2 that we grabbed out of the gas thingy, so let's put one of those in there. Won't be too long now, and then we won't have to worry about those anymore. Let's chow down on you. All right, the second thing I wanted to accomplish in this episode was getting a beehive or a five down. No, actually, we don't need five. Um, But we're probably ready to start on another uh, tree seed. We left a bark up there, right? Yeah, I believe we did do that. I'll swap you out. Okay, we got you. We'll put uh, the golden seed in uh, the bark and the beauty. Okay, don't forget to hit research. The oh, no, shit. Hold on. There we go. Hit research, OG. There you go. Okay, now we need to make another... Uh, plant uh, or tree spreader thing. So we need a bacteria. We have one left. Let's pull you out of here. Put you guys back in here. We need a fertilizer. Tree bark, a plastic, and a super. Super force? Yes, you do. All right, let's go put the next one down. I wonder how many of how many how many of these that would let me. Oh, pretty. Uh, cram down in here. We're gonna find out. Okay, cool. Next on the menu is beehives. Oh, actually though, no, we've got to make the incubator first and then we have to m incubate the bee larva. So we probably will not get to that in this episode, but we can at least get started with the incubator. Um, all right, so we need a super. We need a furt. 
Oh, that must be a tech two for a, a tier two vert. Yes, it is. Okay. Can I put this on the roof or does it have to be on the ground? I do not remember. Oh, no. Sorry. Incubator. Whew, you know what? This thing's big. Um... If we put it in here, we're not going to be able to walk through there. I don't like that. It's not my favorite. I, uh, what if we move the ladder over to here? the Nat's eyebrow. Get me right about there. Okay, I can live with that. Now, can we get the incubator in this corner? Um, where are you? Can we still walk through here? God damn it. I thought I was able to do this in season one and still walk through. Did I have it turned the other way? Maybe we had it turned this way. No, um, I don't know why that's not working. Unless, unless I had it clipped into the wall a bit, but I think what we're going to do is just, oh, okay, that works. I mean, it is, it is kind of glitched into the wall there, but I think we'll just kind of not worry about that because... I'd rather be able to walk through here and not have to jump over the counter each time. That's just a little jank. All right. Now, we, to make a bee larva, we need uncommon mutagen and fertilizer. Um, uncommon larva. Uh, fertilizer and a mute. Research. And that's um that's not guaranteed. Uh, we'll pro we probably will get a bee larva, but sometimes it gives you something different. Um, we also can start making butterfly larva too. But I don't think we can do anything with those until we can either make the uh what the hell is it called? The butterfly dome, which is here. And the butterfly farm is even further out. It's kind of funny. This thing is enormous. But you get it sooner and it produces less points towards insects than this that's later that's a lot smaller. That produces a lot more towards insects. But the nice thing about this, though, is, is you get to put them outside. Uh, whereas this, of course, they're contained. So until at least this unlocks, there's not really any point in us making butterflies. But there are, definitely is some, a reason to make a few beehives. Because then we can start crafting uh, the high-end food and selling it with the surplus as one of our first things that we'll do to sell. Oh, man, we have made some beautiful progress in this episode, you guys. We're having so much fun with this game. Uh, are you done? You are. Okay. Let's do our final golden flower. And then, then we definitely have a, a good reason. I should have grabbed a Tusca. 
to go out and start looking for some more golden crates because all of our gold flowers are being utilized now at the moment. I'm not quite ready yet to pull them out of the flower spreaders and, and we probably will keep those flower spreaders there um, at least until we get the tier three tree spreaders. And, I, and I'll still probably keep them there anyways, but maybe put some different flowers in just to change up the color a little bit. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, let's put the Tusca in here. Um, okay, we need to go back to one more of these. So once again, we need a bacteria, which we're out of, so we'll have to go grab it. We need a normal furt, a uh, bioplastic. Can you make some more of these for me? see if it oh you know what um yeah i don't think it can reach the mushroom the mushroom guys so we'll just pick them and take them up to it And I might, I might end up swapping out the, uh, what else are you missing? Oh, I'll bet you need silicon, huh? Yep, that's what you're missing. These guys used up all my silicon. Let's just grab all of that. All right. Stop. You stop. Uh, you, you're you okay. There. Then we will make a few more bioplastic with those. Oh, look at that, though. That's, that's awesome. That totally trimmed down all of that excess ore for us. Um, the only bad thing, of course, is it used up all of our silicon, but we can replenish that. Um, that's great though. That's a way to do that, man. And look at that. We turned all of that stuff into four super rods. Beautiful. Okay. What are we doing? We're trying to make a, uh, our last T2, uh, tree spreader. Uh, but we need to get this back in the DNA sequencer. So that goes in there. We need a muti and a tree bark. Did I leave another tree bark up here? I didn't. Of course I didn't. Why would I do that? Why would I do something efficient? That wouldn't make sense. Tree bark. Do we have some new ones that are ready? Huzzah! We need two of them, actually, anyways. And research. Boom. Okay, now we need to make the tree spreader. We got to uh, run out to our bacteria farm to grab some back. And we just need one super alloy, or not super alloy, yeah, super alloy, sorry. Um, we'll grab one of those out of there. Let's save the game, we haven't saved in a bit. We'll take a drink, not from there, we won't. And um, let's top off our food. If the game will let me do this, I'm going to cram, I'm going to try and cram eight tier one tree spreaders all in this little tiny pond down here. Um, you know, so that we can maximize the, the fuse. Oh, we need to get bacteria. Do we have another Pulsar Quartz meteorite coming in? Or is this just a purple storm? I think it's just a purple storm because usually you hear the meteorite almost right away. Okay.
Grab those. Wait for the other ones. I just love this automation stuff. It's so fun. And it's going to be ten times better once we get drones. And we have tier three extractors now, too, which is also going to be a game changer. Um, so I, I got to think about that. Next. Crazy. Um, you know, it's just a matter of how much they cost and the, pri the prioritization of where we want to place them. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to keep putting uh, those down there as many as it'll let me up to eight if it will let me. And then we'll move the fuse, uh, the sh machine optimizer with the three fuses over to that. And then our oxygen is just going to go through the roof. It might even be... Yeah, you know what? Let, let's do one more experiment before I let you guys go. We're going to do something for science. We're going to do something for science here. Uh, let me put these upstairs. Um, can we... Eh, we're in pretty good shape on muties so far. That's at 83%. Alright, you made some more of those for us. That's good. We'll put these in here. If we replenish the gas, put those there. Oh, we got bees. All right, we got to do this too, guys. We got to get at least one beehive down before I let you guys go. It's just, we have to. It's the principle of the thing. Um,. And what the hell that even means, I don't know. Don't ask. Just take my word for it. Because I don't even know what the hell it means. Um, can we... Sulfur, iridium... Do we have algae? Not very much. Okay, I'll worry about that later. I was going to get some more tier 2 ferts going, but... I'll take care of that later. Okay, so... Should we... Actually, let's get another bee going, at, though. So, uncommon mutagen furt. A muti, an uncommon, and a furt. This game is just non-stop. There's so much to do in it, and this is a good thing, I'm gonna, mind you. There's so much to do in it that you just, you know, it's non-stop. <laughs> it's never a dull moment, right? Uh, why is it that, oh, did I put the wrong thing in there? Mutagen thingy and fertilizer, right? Oh, I'm in I'm in the wrong damn machine. <laughs> I'm like, well, what the hell? That's the recipe, I swear it is. Okay. There we go. Okay, now, um what do we need for this? We need a super effort and a bio. Um let's grab a bio. Grab a fart. Grab a fart. Sound like I said grab a fart. Grab a fart. Grab one of these. Now, can I put this up on the roof or do I have to have it out in the grass? Of course, I'm sure the bees would prefer to be out in the grass. Yeah, it's going to force me to do that anyways. And that's only proper, right? Okay, let's plop this thing down right here in the midst of the flowers and we'll have some happy bees. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I might end up uh, moving this somewhere else later because we are going to need an auto crafter to be able to get to it. And later on, drones. Of course, with drones, you can place it anywhere you want to. But here's what I want to do for an experiment before I let you go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our current oxygen production. In fact, so I don't have to try and remember anything because my memory sucks. I'm going to tell my phone to bring up the camera. Phone camera, please. There you go. 
Ooh, we got the butterfly dome. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of our O2. Oh, nice. We got a new tree seed also. Yes, I know I'm out of iCloud storage. No, Apple, I'm not going to pay you money to give me more. I need to go in and delete a bunch of shit out of there at some point. All right, so we currently have... 2.17 million. Right? Yeah, two... Oh, man, things are just cooking along. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay, 2.17 million... O2 production at the moment. Everybody remember that. Since we have one more golden seed available, we might as well utilize it. So that means a yet another tree spreader. Why did I turn my light off? I don't know. Grab those. Go get a bio and a back. Uh, a bio and a bacteria. A furt. And another super. See, I told you, you use super for everything. Absolutely everything under the sun in this game you need super ally for. Okay. How's our power, by the way? It should be good, but let's check it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. And take it down to our, our little spot down here. Now y'all understand, right, that this is this is about production, not about aesthetics. Now, let's set you down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna put put you here for now. I can always move it later. Alright, now let's go see if our O2 production is even higher with four of those and the golden tree seed uh, golden flower trees the tree that starts with a peas pea something I think it is we were at 2.17 million now we're at 3.35 million yes okay so just even with four of those and the golden tree seeds. We are maximizing our O2 even more than the flower spreaders were with golden tree seeds. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to continue to make up to another four of those because we have a total of eight. And, and then when we get the tier two tree spreader, we'll just swap those out, right? And just keep that oxygen climbing like a mofo. And we're already 73% of the way to breathable atmosphere, which is just... I can't tell you how beautiful that is. It's a beautiful thing. We all know that, right? It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. We got a lot done in this episode. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. See, what am I going to do off camera? I'll, I'll keep working on those tree spreaders off camera. And I think... Yeah, I want you. Do we have a... Our first honey. Oh, look at that. We got honey. It's beautiful. Um, we're going to save that, though, because we're going to use it to make the high-end food when it unlocks. So let me just tell you what's in my head. We've got a super alloy tier two over there. I don't... I, I never replaced the extractor in the sulfur zone, which I might end up doing. We have a tier, well, what am I going to do with this guy? I might leave him there. But then we have, you know, we have the tier one extractor in the aluminum fields. And we have a tier two extractor for sulfur over at the waterfall. So that's one, two, three, four extractors that I'm going to upgrade to tier threes. Um, how, what, what do those suckers cost us? 
All right, so we're going to also put a tier three extractor in this osmium cave that's just right below us. Oh, wait, no, that's underwater. Okay, if it doesn't let me put it in there, then I will put it in... I'm trying to think of what the next closest Oz cave is. It's probably the one over... You know, the one that goes off way over into the craters on the other side of the sulfur biome. Nevertheless, we need, we're need we going to start needing a steady supply of Osmium. We can't rely upon the meteorite storms. Uh, so I'll get one down for that as well and keep working on the tier two, uh, sorry, the tier one tree spreaders. This is going to pop. Oh, shit. This is about ready to pop already. All right, screw that. I'm not even going to make any more tier ones. We'll just wait for the tier twos to, to pop and then we'll, we'll go right to them. We boosted oxygen like crazy in this episode. <laughs> I mean, just, it's just absolutely crazy. Uh, which is beautiful. Oh, yeah, we got the teleporter still. There's so much to do. I don't know what to do. All right, I'm going to wrap up the episode. We'll figure it out. Bye.